The Col du Tourmalet is the most famous climb in the Pyrenees. After all, it's been used by the Tour de France more than any other mountain, so if you're ever in the area, it's well worth a visit. Actually, no, scrub that. This climb is so iconic, it's worth making a special effort just to come out here and conquer it. You can tackle it from two sides, but this video is going to focus on the eastern side. To find it, simply head to the village where we're at now, San Marie de Compan, which marks the official start of the mountain. They when justice, brotherhood, peace well throughout society. The lower slopes of the Tourmalet are actually the easiest in terms of gradient, only averaging about 4%, but personally, I've always find these the most hard kilometres from a mental point of view. Reason B, this valley road is quite straight, so it actually doesn't really feel or look like you're climbing very much, and that makes it really demoralising that you're already down to your small ring and struggling to maintain a decent speed. Over seven and a half k's in, you'll reach two left hand bends in quick succession going over bridges. And a few hundred meters later, you'll reach this lay by. Doesn't look like very much, but for you, it represents the halfway point of this climb, at least by distance. As you come out of that fourth tunnel, you'll pretty much have Lamongi in your sights if it's a clear day like today. As you can see, the gradient here is quite severe, 9.5% average, there's a couple of points which kick up into double figures. For the majority of cyclists who do regular training, a compact front chain sit with a 34 tooth inner ring combined with 28 or 30 tooth rear cassette will suffice. However, if you've got any doubts over your weight or your fitness, you might want to consider a triple front chain set. If your ascent of the Tourmalet is a leisurely day out, then La Mangie makes a great place to stop for a drink or even lunch. Three kilometres or so from La Mangie to the top are quite literally breathtaking. Not only are the views amazing when you turn around on these roads and see where you've ridden up from, but also of course as we go over 1800 metres of altitude, the air is much thinner, and there's less oxygen for your body to fuel your muscles with. And actually this is worth bearing in mind if you're trying to pace yourself with a power meter. You won't be able to sustain the same power here at the top as you did at the bottom, no matter how well you pace yourself. Doesn't matter how fast or slow you've ridden up the Tourmalet, it's always a great feeling when you reach the crest here at 2,115 metres. So make sure you get someone to take a photo of you when you reach the top. On a clear day like today, you'll also be able to take amazing views over both sides of the mountains. And you'll also see up here a statue in memory of the late Octave Lapise, who famously compared the Tour de France organisers to murderers when they first took the race up here in 1910. Also up here, we've got a statue in memory of the late Jacques Godet, director of the Tour de France between the years of 1936 and 1986. And also you'll find a bar restaurant where you can get something to eat and drink to reward yourself. However, we recommend you steer clear of alcohol because no matter where you go from here, you can have a long, technical and fast descent. Quite difficult at this point. 11 k's in though, almost halfway now. <laughs> 